Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I'm gonna to be talking about some things that recently sold for me on eBay and I hope that I can share some insights into things you can look for maybe when you're out thrifting or at your yard sale or just looking around in maybe your house and you notice something that can sell for you. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Ashley and I am a stay-at-home mom slash eBay and Amazon reseller and I run my business from my home, I do it on my own time, and I absolutely love what I do, and I hope I can share good information with you so that you can do it too. First of all though guys, I have to show you the coolest piece of office decor that I picked up on Etsy. Um, a lot of you might know that Parks and Rec is one of my very favorite shows, and I grabbed this really amazing poster. I'm gonna be framing it and putting it up over here in my office. And I grabbed one more, and this one I'm gonna keep a mystery, and those of you in the audience will probably know this and if you do first one to tell me what show it is I will send a little gift card to but it is this poster when I saw it I died I was so excited so had to pick it up but yeah first person though who guesses it in the comments below I will send you a gift card but yeah I died the decor was just too cute um, and I can't wait to frame these I actually picked up some frames from Target just yesterday so <laughs> I'm gonna frame them and get them in my office and maybe I'll have time to show you guys the after or maybe future me will get this done by the time I'm editing this video and put it right here. Let's see how on the ball I am. Maybe I'm not. Maybe it'll just be a picture of nothing. Okay, let's get into the important stuff. Here we are going to talk about things that sold for me relatively quickly actually. Some of these items actually sold within a day, so I'm really excited to share these with you. First up, I have that Gurkha bag, and I showed you guys that this Gurkha bag very recently in a recent YouTube video showing you some of the recent thrift finds. Most of those were bags that I picked up, and this was just a very, like, it kind of had some wear on it. It's vintage, and it's a Gurkha Marley Hodgson number four messenger bag. And it says so on the side of the bag. It looks very, very basic canvas. You might even walk by it like anywhere. I would have walked by this at a yard sale or thrift store had I not known to just really take a close look. It sold for $160 in one day, so really, really fun. And shout out to Colin in Texas, my friend Colin, for giving me this bolo. So Gurkha bags, G-H-U-R-K-A, definitely be on the lookout. This is a Victoria's Secret houndstooth silk robe. It's not a full length robe, it's kind of a mini robe. Vintage Victoria's Secret does really, really well for me. This is actually on the lower end. I'll be showing you coming up another Victoria's Secret item that sold for a lot more. This is always a pickup for me. I was at an estate sale, there wasn't a whole lot there. I looked through the closet. She had some vintage Eileen Fisher and some vintage Victoria's Secret among a bunch of like Coldwater Creek and other stuff that just doesn't sell very well for me. So I grabbed this for a dollar and it sold for $35 plus $7 shipping. A really fun find. I love finding vintage Victoria's Secret. It's the best. And you can tell just the tag looks older. The font is a little bit different than the current styles. And I mean, usually you can just kind of tell when something is vintage. This is that HP LaserJet toner cartridge. It sold overnight for $85, my full asking price, plus free shipping. I do free shipping on items like this because that's my competition. My competition is offering free tip, free shipping, so I often will do that. But when I'm selling used clothing, I'm usually selling like a one-off something that's unique. I don't have usually much other competition to compete with, so I don't offer free shipping in those instances. But when it's something that's like really popular, maybe like a video game or like a console or something like that, I will offer free shipping if my competition is doing the same thing. I hope that makes sense. But yeah, really fast pickup. It was $5 at the thrift store. You guys were with me on that thrift store run. I'll link it here in case you missed it, but it was one of the first things I found and it was an easy pickup. These are some North Face Aphrodite pants. I pick up these outdoor pants a lot. These North Face or Patagonia or even like REI brand outdoor pants, they don't sell for a ton, but they're usually a pretty quick flip for me. These sold for $25 plus $7 shipping. That's about what I can get for them. So if I'm ever at like the Goodwill outlet or at an estate sale or a yard sale where I'm picking clothing up for like a dollar, I will usually grab North Face outdoor pants or Patagonia outdoor pants like this. Generally a pretty quick flip. These are some Dansko tooled leather clogs and these sat for a little while, but they did eventually sell for $38.49 plus $7 shipping. I found these at the Goodwill outlet. They had quite a bit of wear on them, but with some Allen Edmonds black leather shoe polish, they cleaned right up really pretty and really nice. You could still see all of that tooled detail. I do have links to all of the stuff that I use to clean up my items or prep my items in the description below. Even though I do answer this in comments quite a bit, I got asked a ton of times in my last video. I don't wash all of my clothing. Sometimes I do. If I go to the bins, I always wash it. But 
I will steam my items if I get them from the thrift store. And steaming kills almost all of the germs anyway, and I feel like that's a really good way to prep items pretty quickly. So just a heads up that I do steam my items to clean them. This is an Eileen Fisher button down wool cardigan, and this was from that same estate sale where I picked up those vintage Victoria's Secret. It sold for $25 plus $7 shipping, nothing to shout about, but this is about what I'll get for a vintage Eileen Fisher, $25, $35 plus shipping. So just be aware of that. It's not, even though it has like a huge retail price, um, it doesn't always sell for that resale. So just keep that in mind. $25 to $35 though, if I've picked it up for just a few dollars is generally a pretty good return for me. These are some Skechers, new in box, sport, breathe easy, good life walking shoes. <laughs> and. These surprised me at how fast they sold. They sold overnight for $30 plus $10 shipping. I might have underpriced them, but Skechers has never been a brand that I've like looked for or wanted to pick up because it's so kind of common and basic and I haven't seen that great of a resale value for it, but I was surprised that these sold so fast. So if it's new in the box and they look like this, they look like comfort shoes, maybe there is a bigger audience for them than I previously realized. This is a vintage Victoria's Secret full length silky robe and it had a fleece lining so it was cozy and warm. It's really hard to find full length robes. That's something that like you need to kind of make a mental tab for because full length robes are harder to find for me. I think they're hard for a lot of people to find and finding like a nicer style of robe that's not just the regular basic terry cloth and that has like a fleece lining or is cozy and warm is also hard to find. So that on top of it being vintage Victoria's Secret which already does well for me was a definite bolo. I picked this up for a dollar at that estate sale and it sold for $75 plus $7 shipping which I was just super pleased with. I almost wanted to keep this for myself but this actually the sleeves were too short on me. I have like the longest monkey arms in the world. It's kind of like I have a longer reach than my husband. It's great. So this didn't really work out for me. In fact it's like a it's a problem with most clothing items that I have. I'm like Jim from the office you know when he's holding up that shirt that Creed got him in that Christmas episode. Anyway so I have long arms. It didn't work out for me. You guys definitely did not need to know that information but I threw it in there. Um, but really happy with this. Definitely look for vintage Victoria's Secret if you can. Always a great flip for me. This is a Geisswein Austria full zip kind of oatmeal sweater fleece. It's an extra small. It, anything full zip tends to do better for me than pullovers or half half zips or you know half button up. This is why I picked up that other Geisswein sweater coat that I showed in my last video. So. I figured it could sell for a decent amount of money since this one sold pretty quickly. Vintage made in Europe sweaters of any kind generally do really well for me, especially if they have a unique pattern or a unique design. I would say if you sell in both eBay and Poshmark, this is definitely more of a like an eBay flip than a Poshmark flip. But yeah, really happy with this and I hope that the other sweaters that I got sell rel relatively quickly as well. These are some Dries Van Noten men's pants and I found these at a garage sale for just a few dollars. Dries Van Noten, this was actually my first time finding it, and the waistband was a size 54, which is large for men, so I was really excited about that. I had these priced a lot higher, but it wasn't getting a ton of activity, so I took the lower offer for almost $40 plus $7 shipping. Really happy with that since I only paid a few dollars. I know Dries Van Noten is a luxury brand, I just hadn't found it before, so I was really excited to do that. Something that I have noticed with luxury brands that I find, you know, sometimes I find Christian Dior or Versace or Dries Van Noten or whatever, but they're very basic pieces. Um, they don't sell as great for me. They just take a longer time to move. Etro, they're just kind of sitting. So I don't know. It's exciting to find the label, but the style definitely matters too. And these were a little more on the basic side. So I was happy to get $40 for them, but in the future, just it's exciting to find the cool label, but keep in mind that if it's a really simple or basic piece, it'll probably take longer to sell. These are some Lululemon Wonder Under High Rise leggings. For Lululemon, something to keep in mind is that the higher the rise and the longer the legging, the better. Like if it's full length, that is awesome. And if they're high rise or super high rise, they come up to the belly button or beyond. Those are extreme bolos. They do really, really well. Um, I personally love them and they're a little bit harder to find. So kind of like the lower waistbands just are have been out of style or are going out of style or are just less popular because they're not quite as flattering. They don't suck everything in, hence the reason that I like the super high rise. So that's just something to maybe keep in mind. These are some Miu Miu pink patent leather ballet flats with the jewel toe detail. They were in actually really good condition. 
I picked these up at the thrift store for just $4. I could not believe it. I was really like excited about the label. So I was very excited to see Miu Miu. It's my first time picking up Miu Miu. How many times can I say Miu Miu? I had these priced really high because the only other comp that I saw was in like the $300 range. But that's something that you have to like, at least for me, like I have to keep my excitement in check and realize, look, just because someone has it listed and it's the only listing and it's for a lot of money does not mean that anyone's gonna buy it for this amount. And the kind of jewel toe flats are a little going out of style or have been out of style. So I, in the end, I decided I was really happy to see these go for $65 plus $7 shipping. It's an international sale, so the chances of it being returned to me are very, very small. And so I was happy with that, considering I spent just $4. This is a Lululemon tennis dress. It's black. I have sold this before, and the last time I sold it, it was in like the $100 range. But this time, I was not getting quite the same traction on it as I was before. That could be my own fault because my store wasn't having a ton of activity in it. I did decide to take a best offer of $75 plus $7 shipping for it. I was just trying to get stuff moving in my store and was willing to take a lower price. And I'm really glad it sold. So someone got a good deal on this great dress. This is a Kidka Icelandic sweater. It's got... It's a size XXL, which is great. It is full zip, and like I mentioned, that goes for more. It has the Fair Isle Nordic design at the top, and it sold for $44 plus $6 shipping. These tend to be a bolo for me if I ever find these kind of Icelandic, again, made in Europe, wool sweaters. Those tend to do really well. Even if they seem kind of older fashioned or different, they sell great, and this was no exception. Pick this up at an estate sale. I believe I paid just $3 for it. These are some Nike Epic Lux leggings. These sold for $31 plus $7 shipping. They're like a newer style of Nike. They're really cool. I found that Khloe Kardashian wore this same exact style, so I threw that in the listing. Really excited about these. I had them listed for a little bit more, but I ran a sale and they sold for the full sale price, so I was really excited about that. Full length, you know, they were full length, higher rise, always, generally speaking, a win. These sold overnight. These are James Purse men's shorts. I absolutely love picking up James Purse. I pick it up for women, for men. Anytime I find it, it generally sells within a day or at the most a few weeks. And it's just always a bolo for me. These sold for $35 plus $5 shipping overnight, like I said. These are some Lululemon Super High Rise Aligns. They are super, super soft. Again, Super High Rise is different from High Rise. Super High Rise goes up, I wanna say like 11 inches or more. And like covers the belly button. I probably could have even gotten more for these, but they sold for $50 plus $5 shipping. Again, full length, super high rise. Aligns just in general, that style of legging sells really well for me and this sold extremely fast. This is a Ford F-150 grill. <laughs> you guys know, if you know, you know. If you've been following for a long time, you know. I sell car parts, I've got them in a liquidation almost three years ago now, crazy, and it's been quite the journey, but I think that journey's coming to an end. I only have a few random pieces left and I think we might just go ahead and donate those and clean out the garage. So it was a really fun adventure. I might do a whole video all about this whole car park journey and how it's gone and what I've made from it. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, this sold for $75. I paid $6 per part. So a great return for me. Okay, that just about does it, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you all. You are the best. And if you like this video, please, please give it a like. It really helps my channel out. Subscribe to my channel for updates and new videos every single week. I'm working really hard to get two new videos a week and hopefully I can be consistent with that for you, give you the best information that I can on how I run my business and just how I make money from home and how I've been able to make a living from it. It's been amazing and I love doing it. I really like sharing my journey with you guys and I love having you along for the ride. So thanks again, you guys. Take care and I will catch you next time.